There are a variety of ways to choose a therapist if you're interested in psychotherapy or talk therapy to address issues related to diabetes, to family issues, to personal issues, or to the symptoms that are related to depression. For people who have insurance policies, you may check with your insurance company to find out which therapists that live in your area may be available on your insurance plan to give you the maximum benefits through your insurance coverage. Other people may choose to connect with community mental health centers that live in their area, in their city, or in their region. And those centers are staffed with social workers and psychologists and psychiatrists who treat disorders related to depression, anxiety, and other mood-related disorders. Another resource to find a therapist in your community can be as simple as looking online uh, in Yellow Pages or other directories. Uh, you may also call your state board of psychology, and many state boards have referral lines in which they can help to place people who are interested in finding a psychologist or a social worker with um, someone who is licensed in their state or in their community. So there are a variety of options to find a therapist. Ultimately, therapy is about a journey, a journey between you as the expert about your experience and the therapist who's an expert in behavior change and in addressing mood issues. And so, with, as with any two experts, this needs to be a relationship that feels, that has trust, that feels comfortable, and that feels that you can talk with someone about personal issues. That may be rapport that you can get a sense of when you talk with someone over the phone. Uh, you may want to know about their credentials. You may want to know where they were trained. You may want to know what kind of orientation they have to therapy because there are different orientations or brands of therapy that people practice. Ultimately, it's about being together, sitting in a room together and talking about your experience and listening to how you feel when you sit with your fellow expert in talking about your mood. If that's a comfortable relationship, then that's one that will set the stage for being able to successfully address your mood and to ultimately with the goal of feeling better.